Hello everybody, welcome back to more Plants vs. Zombies. So I've made... Off-screen, off I made a very interesting discovery. I decided I was sick and tired of not actually realizing if Stinky the Snail was doing anything for me. So, just offline, I decided to get all of my flowers to like the happiness status and then give Stinky a bar of chocolate and then just go back to the main menu screen for like a few minutes. Came back. He had not collected any money for me. Stinky does not collect any money for you unless you are physically looking at the Zen Garden screen. Which is really annoying, which means that all these times I've been giving Stinky chocolate and just leaving him to his own in the Zen Garden, yeah, he has not done a lick for me. So, normally I would just say I'm giving up on that, but over the last two days I've done quite a bit of grinding just in the Zen Garden of like building my plants up growing them and then making them happy and then I've given Stinky the chocolate and then just basically kept the Zen Garden in the background while I do other things on my computer. And the end result is... Well, got a, a bunch of Zen Garden plants here. And uh, if you go to the shop, that's a lot of money, isn't it? That's a, that's a, that is quite a bit more money than I had at the start. I literally can almost buy the 10 seed slot entry if I wanted, and just judging by how little chocolate I have left. Yeah, I've been I've been pretty diligently doing this on and off, and with this many plants and the happiness status, Stinky will collect a lot of money for you if you're willing to have the Zen Garden just up and running for hours at a time. Which I could do that in the background of other things, but hey, with this at this rate we might actually be able to buy everything today. So that's just a fun little thing I did off camera. Now we're going back to survival mode because we're doing survival in the fog on hard mode. This one should be interesting. So we got the fog, so we're gonna have sunflowers, obviously. Eventually we're gonna turn them into twin sunflowers. We'll need puff shrooms. Definitely gonna be taking some cattails. I think gloom shrooms would be a great idea as well. I think I might go planterns and pumpkins? Maybe? That seems like a pretty decent idea to me. And then what else if... I probably should get... You know what? I'm gonna go sea shroom. Why not? Put put them in the water, we don't have to worry about putting a bunch of aquatic plants down until we actually... <laughs> until we get some cattails going. Oh, and we got the rake! Which we won't be able to see. I forgot I bought the rake last time. So the first zombie's going to show up at the very bottom where the rake was. We won't be able to see it in action, but we'll be able to hear it, I guess. Unless we want to do this. Well, whoops. That was dumb. I should not have put that planter in there. This early on, anyways. That was a very stupid decision. A, that was the wrong spot to put the planter in. I should have put it at the bottom. And B, I shouldn't have put a planter down at all until we had built up our army a bit. Kind of short on sun early on in these nighttime levels. But at least we got Rigor More Mist going on in the background. One of my favorite psalms. Well, every psalm in the game is one of my favorite psalms. So now I gotta keep this lantern protected until I have enough for a pumpkin that I can put on top of it. Oh, lovely. So the puff shrimps do a great job of just holding their own. Until we get enough sun for later things. Again, my primary focus is right now is kind of protecting that planter. Oh, great! A aqua cone zombie, and so soon, too. See, this is one of those situations where, um, sea shrooms just are not very good. 
they're not gonna really be able to hold their own against these uh, aqua cone zombies very well. Two of them were able to take down a cone, but only barely. Okay, cool. We almost have enough for our first cattail, which will make everything a lot safer. There we go. There we go. Okay, first plantern has been fixed. Oh, I thought you... Well, we're gonna lose the plantern immediately. Great. I thought the bucket zombie was in the water. My mistake. Get our first gloom shroom going. Two cattails are gonna really help us out as well. There we go. Finally, we can see everything. Shrooms, naturally, are going to be very, very helpful. We'll just let the cattails take care of most things. Replenish our puff shrimps as needed. I'll add some more sunflowers as well. I'm not using the space back here for anything else, so I might as well. I'm gonna preemptively put down a spot for another gloom shroom there. for any more sunflowers. Next round we can start up uh, planting our twin sunflowers. That's beautiful. Trying to think of what we should be planting beyond this, because I want basically a bunch of gloom shrooms up front. Alright, we got some pole vaulting zombies. Cool, so we'll get twin sunflowers, more gloom shrooms, more lily pads, more cattails. Um, spike rock's always good. I don't think we need puff shrooms. We definitely don't need sea shrooms anymore. We don't need planterns. We'll take pumpkins. Let's see what else. I might actually... Nah, not imitated pumpkins. We don't need imitated pumpkins. I'm gonna go melon pull. In case we wanna... Put some winter melons down. <laughs> I always get a kick out of the, uh... Fog coming in then immediately being... Obscured.
Now, when you have the plants from the store, the survival mode is pretty easy. We'll see how long that lasts, though. My overall plan is kind of eventually I'll replace these puff shrimps here with maybe cob cannons. Long term could be a decent idea. Alright. There we go. Things are starting to get a little bit more dangerous. I'm on a great cycle now of, like, <laughs> Cattail, Twin Sunflower, Gloom Shroom, Spike Rock, Cattail, because I have- each of them have a really, really long recharge time. But if I do them, like, cyclically, then eventually, it's like, once I fit- once I'm ready to plant th these again, the recharge time will be down. Now we're starting to dominate the seas a little bit. Start putting more gloom shrooms on the land. Cool. I don't think we need any more spike rock than that. That should be enough to stall gargantuars, pop zombonies, and catapult zombies, and just hurt the zombies that are trying to munch away on my gloom shrooms. gonna start putting pumpkins here because I think zombies can potentially pop up there during the final waves. Yeah, I'm starting to wish I had brought imitated pumpkin instead of melon bolt. I think that's all the cattails we're going to need. The rest I want to fill up with gloom shrooms. So, we've got dolphin rider zombies, but we're ready for those. Cool. We'll keep up twin sunflower. We'll keep up with gloom shrooms. We're going to take double pumpkin. Uh, melon poult, winter melon. And I think we're also going to go then kernel poult and cob cannon. 
Oh wait, hang on. We probably need lily pads. Actually, again, view on. Yeah, actually we're gonna need lily pads, so... We'll hold off on the cop cannon for now. I'm gonna start healing up my pumpkins as I get the opportunities. Charge on the Gloom Shroom. Wonderful. <laughs> this is an impressive display, if I do say so myself. Heal up that pumpkin as well. Get down another melon pole. Keep up the barrage of winter melons, because why not? Keep healing up our pumpkins as needed. Sure, we'll make you a twin sunflower, why not? Now we'll start putting down the kernel pulse. Shrooms down there. Oh my gosh, it's slow. Oh. That's too much. <laughs> I was actually afraid the game was going to crash there for a second. There's way too many projectiles. We don't need these back <laughs> Alright, we're we better load up the cop cannons. Okay, here come balloon zombies, though they're fine. Yep, zombonies, newspaper zombies. No dicker zombies? Cool. Alright. No jack-in-the-box zombies either, that's fantastic. Okay, Colonel Pult, Cobb Cannon, Double Pumpkin, Twin Sunflower just in case, why not? Um, in case we end up popping our spike rocks, I'll want to take duplicates of those. And I guess the old Gloom Shroom route. Oh, 
Oh, thank you. I was hoping to get some chocolate drops here. I'm also gonna start putting pumpkins in the back. Oh, no, back to game. I wanted to shovel. Yes, please give me, keep giving me chocolate. I would really appreciate it. Look at how fast we're ripping through all of these. Of zombonies. This is why spike rocks are so disgustingly good. They, like, it takes like nine zombonies to destroy a spike rock. I am worried that like all of my spike rocks are going to pop at the same time. Because then I can only replenish one at a time. I think I'll just preemptively replenish that one. Oh, should have replenished the one at the top. Whoops. All right. <laughs> well, this is going by really quickly, isn't it? <laughs> Pogo boy! Alright. Keep up with the cob cannons. Keep up with the spike rock. Double pumpkins. Um. No jack in the box zombie, which is wonderful. Uh, we don't need any more twin sunflowers. Honestly, at this point, we should probably just go ahead and. I guess I'll bring glim shrooms in case we need to get those back, and then I'll do a doom shroom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have so much sun, I'm gonna wipe away those two. In preemption for making another uh, cannon. Like, if you're the zombie horn, like, how do you stand up against this? Like, you, you can't. This is the power of, um, the stuff you get from Crazy Dave's shop, I guess. Oh, that pogo zombie thinks he's actually going to move past the first square. Laughable. for me? How lovely. <laughs> oh 
Oh my gosh. No challenge. Eventually, Plants vs. Zombies 1 just gets so broken that there's really nothing that the zombies can do to make you fret. And to think that this is the one I was kind of most worried about. Uh oh. Doom! <laughs> and there we go! Another trophy! <laughs> that was hilarious. We get more trophies, yay! Alright, we just have survival on the roof and then we get survival hard mode. This is the last trophy we have left to get in the game. And at this point, well, we got a lot of money. I could buy the seed slots. But the first thing I want to do is I want to get that tree grown to its maximum level. The Tree of Wisdom. Because again, that's something brand new to me that I've never seen before. So if we go here... Alright, we got the one new plant. I'll, I'll see what that plant is off screen. I guess I don't think people really care about it that much. Tired? Depressed? Ladders on tall nuts getting you down? A quick magnet room will whisk your cares away. The tallness of tall nuts earns widespread acclaim due to their effectiveness versus dolphin riders and pogo zombies. And pole vaulting zombies. The explosive force of a cherry bomb or a jalapeno is more than capable of dislodging a ladder from a walnut. I actually did not know that. That's good to know. It's tempting to feed all your chocolate to Stinky the Snail. He's such a chocolate hog. But remember, Zen Garden plants like chocolate too. What? That's not something I know about. I'm gonna have to experiment with that. Torchwood fire is hotter than rage, but Zombonis, screen doors, ladders, and catapults can take the heat. Yes, it's true. If you rely on upgrade plants in Survival Endless, be acutely aware that they get more expensive the more you have on your lawn. Oh! So every time you use an you every time you use an upgrade plant in Survival Endless, they get more expensive. Oh, that's actually going to be. Tricky, then. The imps and eye zombies seem weak, but they're speedy and great for fetching that last brain when you've cleared the rest of the opposition. Yep. If you type tricked out, don't be surprised if you see something wacky happen to your lawnmowers. Ooh. 50 feet tall. Thank you for feeding me. I'm out of new wisdom for now, but I might have more if you grow me tall enough. Thank you for feeding me! Okay. So what's the achievement for growing that to its maximum level? A hundred feet, okay. So I need even more fertilizer than that. Okay, I want to try out this whole chocolate on the plants, though. Because I this is not something I've ever seen before, so... Like, I don't, I don't have a plant that is not happy. I'm, wonder I'm wondering if it's like you can give a plant chocolate instead of the phonograph or bug spray and it'll be- it'll like that anyways. If so, I'm still giving my chocolate to Stinky the Snail. I'm gonna have to look into that off- off camera, I think. But in the meantime, we gotta go buy more fertilizer for the tree. So I think like every piece of fertilizer I give it now will make it grow by one foot. That's gonna that's gonna take a long time to get that to max to the max height. So what are you? Split pea, cool. Yep, now to 52 feet. Kind of a dumb achievement, if you ask me. This is literally just to spend a bunch of money. Alright, well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Plants vs. Zombies. Thanks so much for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. Next time we go to Survival Hard on the Roof. 
After that, we have iZombie Endless, Pacebreaker Endless, and Survival Endless. Those three are going to be tough as nails. Not, I'm not worried about um, I'm not worried about the rooftop survival hard. No, that's going to be I think just spamming cob cannons. But in the meantime, look forward to that next time. Well, <laughs> I think cob cannon spam and Wintermelon spam are going to be the keys to victory there. So probably won't be too difficult. And then after that, things are going to get real tough. So until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.